Welcome back to Average Lengths, guys, and today we take care of some finishing touches on our island and other cabinets in here. Welcome back, guys, and today, like I said, we're going to clean up everything here. We got a panel that goes on the back here. It's actually sitting over here. I'll show you that in a sec. We have some base molding trim that goes around the whole thing, corner moldings. We have some side panels and decorative doors for the two sides. Uh, we also have uh, some decorative doors for the cabinets over here as well. So um, we're going to jump right into it and, and get some of this stuff installed. So as you can see over here, I already pre-cut this back panel. It was, I believe, uh, 42 by 96 and we had to trim that down in order to fit our island here so we're gonna go ahead and move this board over to the island and and nail that down so we got these side panels on all the cabinets here and <clears throat> this one as you saw just a these are actually pieces from the back panel that were left over uh, the problem is they didn't give me um, they didn't give me a piece and what these do is make it level or flush with the end here so they didn't give me a panel for this side uh, I don't know why but we're making it work. We're gonna we put these two here just to because the door, the big door is gonna go over top of this. You'll see that in a little bit later in this video. It'll cover this and this, and it'll make it so that it's flush and it'll rest on the edge here. Uh, it'll look good. So uh, next, what we're gonna do is put the molding, the base molding down around everything, and we'll have to mount this two by three here the floor before we put the molding on front there we're also going to, have to trim the molding just a little bit because the floor is raised up a little bit so it doesn't quite fit underneath the drawers and stuff so all right let's get to work all right so i've been spending a long time trying to make sure this is perfect this this molding is going to be the a huge part of the turnout of what the final look is for this and you don't really want it to be uh you, you want it to look good so what i did was i have a piece here that i actually did mess up i cut too short uh but no worries we have enough we're going to i use this to make sure that this end angle here is going to be perfect and i lined it up I did, and I, I checked that side as well. I didn't have another piece for that end, but I made sure that the very inside edge was right along the seam. The problem with this end here is that there's a little bit of a, you know, it's not a perfect corner. It'll get covered up with, with angle molding, but uh, it's not a perfect corner. So we wanted to make sure that this is going to be 100% perfect. I cut this piece probably four times or so. Just skimming it off a little bit, a little bit, just to make sure that it ends up perfect. Now, what I'm going to do now 
is I have a touch-up marker that they gave me and I'm going to just like with the crown molding if you watch that video I'm going to just get the edges uh, with this marker that way when you put it together here even though it's pretty much a perfect perfect joint here you still see a little bit of white wood uh, and, and the marker will take care of that so uh, let's go ahead and do that and we'll cut the rest of these pieces I'm gonna cut the other side of this first that way I have an accurate measurement since this is a really long piece I don't want to mess that up and then we'll we'll shoot a little over and then just skim it skim it down until it's perfect perfectly set in there and then we'll do the same for the front All right, so the island is complete now, for the most part. Uh, we did actually put on our decorative doors here as well. A couple little nicks, but we are all the way around. Door over here is on as well. So next, we're gonna move on to our lighting. We actually picked up an island light here. I have one for the replacement of this one, this one has to get moved over uh, over the table as well. Uh, I did measure out this, where this island line is going to go. This is exactly in the middle, however, I'm almost positive there is a joist right down the center here. So what I'm going to have to do is probably slide it this way a little bit. I'm pretty sure when I ran that wire for the lighting in, in a different video, um, I'm pretty sure I'm in this section of joist pretty sure so I'm gonna hit the edge of that circle and then try to see exactly where that joist is and then we'll cut the circle from there okay guys so we're going backwards here kind of as you can see we pulled this cabinet back off get our access panel back out uh, when I put the hole in for the light, it would have been super easy if that wire was there where I thought it was, but it wasn't. So I actually, the, when I did, when I fished that wire through in a previous video, I chucked it into the uh, joist that I thought would be where the island was, but Lo and behold, that of course was not the case, and we were one joist over. So what we had to do was take this cabinet off, get back in here, pull the wire back out into the joist where it needed to go, and bam, with help my wife, we got this back where we need to be. We are good to go. I gotta put this cabinet back up. I'll put the cabinet up and the panel back up, and then we'll get back to... All right, cabinet is back in place. Now we can go ahead and continue with our light. All right, so we're going to use this bracket here. Uh, this is for ceiling mount. It basically uh, unscrews uh, from one of these sides. And you basically unscrew it until it goes up against the joist. And then this sits on the sheet rack. Gives you a nice sturdy place to hang your stuff.
All right, so we have this light installed now. Looks great. We are missing one of these glass pieces. They, it broke. So uh, we will be getting into one of those, but that is installed in place. Not wired up yet, because we want to, um, the switch that controls this light now uh, will end up controlling this light. However, we want this light still working until we get the new light installed, uh, which I would have liked to have done now, but uh, we have to turn our focus over to this area to found out tomorrow. We will be getting our new countertop, so that will be in this video. And I need to take this piece off so that I can go ahead and repair the damage that was done when we took it off the first time so that uh, I, the damage is repaired before the counter new countertops come in. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a whirl. We'll take that out. I'm just gonna cut around uh, the area there and slap a new piece in there. We'll just this back on. We made sure that all this is level, all even heights here. Everything screwed together as far as this area here. Uh, I do have, we cut a hole here to fix this, patch this in. I gotta cut some new drywall for that. This cabinet, I still have to work on. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut the floor a little bit more because it's, it's tweaked that way. And I wanna you know, straighten that out. But otherwise, everything's looking pretty good. All right, guys, countertops are complete. Uh, I planned on doing some video, but I didn't feel it was right to record somebody without letting them know. So uh, I they went ahead and basically just slapped these suckers on. They were cut already. It was just a matter of gluing them down. There was one seam over here uh, that they took care of pretty well. So it's all looking good, looking very good. All right, guys, it's gonna be a wrap for this video. We got a ton of work done. We finished up our island, all the trim on the island, put the uh, got countertops installed, uh, got our light installed. That was, uh, we did a pretty good job. So, all right, guys, we are at close to 300. We're at 289, I think, right now, and it's going slow, but surely getting up to that point. Once we hit 300, we will be go, uh, giving away a free Average Mike t shirt. Uh, your choice of color, your choice of logo. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you keep up with your post notifications. You can turn that little bell on too. That way, next video or the video after might be the, the video where you have to comment to any yourself to get that, uh, to get a chance to win that t-shirt. So um, again, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will get you guys in the next one. Later.